Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. Now we are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our part number two. Inside this video session, guys, we are going to install WordPress inside our local machine. Inside previous lecture, we had discussed that is WooCommerce is nothing; it's a website including the features of online store. So for making WooCommerce theme development, we need a WordPress installation. So for the WordPress installation, we are going to install the latest version of WordPress inside our local machine. So at the time of this video making, if we click on this Get WordPress and this is the official website of WordPress that is WordPress.org. If we click on this button called Get WordPress, so at the time of video making. This is the current version of WordPress something 5.4.1. So if we click on this button, it is going to give a zipped folder. So before making this video, I have downloaded that zipped folder inside a setup called WooCommerce Theme Dev. What I will do, I am going to make a zip of that, and here is the folder what actually we got after unzipping that. I'm going to select all the files. Control A to select. Control X to cut. Go back to this Ucom theme tab, pasting all the files inside here, and I'm going to delete these two folders. One is a zipped folder, and one is unzipped folder. Now this is currently all of the installed files. Now we are going to install this WordPress setup. So back to browser, go here, and if I copy the path, this is the path of this folder. Copy this. Let's localhost, and here projects. This is the folder, and inside my projects folder, this is another folder. So if I press enter, now we are going to install the WordPress. So first of all, before installing WordPress. We want a database needs to be created because while installing WordPress, we need to pass our database name, username, password, as well as about host details. So first of all, back to our PHP my admin, click on database, and let's say that ucom theme underscore dev. I'm going to copy this database name. Press on create button. So we are creating this database. Create it. Copy that. Click on let's go button. And here we need to provide at the first step, as we can see inside this URL, at the first step, all about the database name. So pasting it here. Next we have to pass our username. This is the username password of our database. So in my case, it is root. Root, and we are going to use local machine, so that's why it is local host, and we are going to use the default prefix of WordPress something WP underscore. If we want to change this prefix, also we can change that. So click on submit button. This is all about our WP config dot PHP file contents. So I'm going to copy all the content from here back to our project setup, and this is the file called. Wp hyphen config hyphen sample dot php. So instead of this sample dot php, what I will do? Click on rename, and I'm going to rename this file called wp config dot php. Now open up this file, get rid of all the contents, and pasting all the contents what we have copied from here. After making changes. Close this file. Back to browser. Click on this Run the installation button. So pressing it here. Now after that, it is going to take some site information. As we can see that information needed. So here we need to provide a site title. So let's say that WooCommerce. Team development. Here we need to pass our username and the password. This is 
to log in our admin panel of WordPress. So let's say that as simple as that, we are going to pass our username as admin and password as admin. Click on this button because we are going to use a weak password for this WordPress installation. We need to pass our email address. So I am going to pass a dummy email. Click on install WordPress button. Now it will take a few seconds to install this WordPress. As we can see that it is loading, loading and loading. And finally, after going through all the steps, we have now successfully installed our latest version of WordPress that is 5.4.1 inside our local machine. If I press login button, now this is the login of our WordPress admin panel. So it is asking for a username or email address and the password. So remember, we have filled about username and password about WordPress installation as admin and admin. So if I press login button, it is going to take us to our admin dashboard and here it is. This is the admin panel and here we can see that this is the version of 5.4.1. So currently we have installed the WordPress latest version to our local machine. This is our admin panel and also if we want to go at the front end side, simply hover on the site title. It is going to give a visit site link. Click on this open to a new tab and here is the front view of that website. So simply guys inside this video we had installed all about the latest version of WordPress in our local machine. From the next video we are going to start about step by step WooCommerce understanding as well as about a step to get our WooCommerce theme development. So inside this video session guys if you have a doubt then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.